Research shows that protected urea works in reducing our greenhouse gas and ammonia emissions. So it's important that we use it on the farm now to protect Irish agricultural sustainability into the future. As the agriculture and industry has grown to meet demand for food, we as farmers must rise to the challenge of meeting our commitment to reducing gaseous emissions and improving water quality. Nitrogen fertiliser plays a key role on the farm in order to achieve grass and crop growth. Protected urea allows us to spread a urea-based product throughout the year without the worry of losing valuable nitrogen through ammonia loss. In Irish grasslands, protected urea also reduces the greenhouse gas nitrous oxide emissions and nitrate leaching when compared to can. Nitrous oxide is a potent greenhouse gas that has almost 300 times more warming potential than carbon dioxide and it contributes one third of Ireland's total agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. Chagas trial work shows that protected urea achieves these benefits while yielding as well as can over the growing season. A win-win outcome both economically and environmentally. I'm dairy farming down in Waterford and uh, I've been using protected urea for the last two years. Um, I use urea in the springtime and when it gets dries up then I go on to protected urea and I'm finding the growth rates are just as good as I was getting with can and I'm finding with the higher nitrogen content of the protected urea at 46% I can be more efficient and get through more paddocks quicker and I'm, I'm quite happy with the protected urea. Protected urea is currently the technology with the largest potential to help achieve our targets in reducing greenhouse gas and ammonia emissions in agriculture while maintaining current crop production levels. So, in summary, protected urea reduces greenhouse gas and ammonia emissions, it helps improve water quality, cheaper than can to spread per unit and it's also as reliable as can for yield. So it can be purchased straight or with potassium or sulphur mixes, however it's not available with a phosphorus mix at present. Uh, look, win-win for farmers and a win-win for the environment.